Hello guys, it's Anish Fuji with another tutorial and this is on how I made this effect of the ground cracking. It has slow motion and you can... there's a lot of flexibility after cracking and yeah, you can use this method in many different ways, not just for cracking, cracking effects. Uh, yeah, let's get to the tutorial. So I have this plane set up here. It's uh, Minecraft sized, so normally when you export a world you just get a plane or whatever and you don't have blocks so what you have to do is manually anime uh, sorry manually make the the blocks that are going to move so what what you want to do is select an area of your model like so like say when you you get a model like you uh, say you want to delete some bits so you select a, select the bit you want to delete click on split so now we have this here and we want to just delete these polygons that we just split like so and now we have it separate like that oh well for this for this tutorial I don't need to do that so and just, just a heads up to show you how you can do that so now let's make a cube 100 100 100 Minecraft size let's put the texture on it and let's uh, hold on 50 down uh, so to make it snap you just go into mode modeling quantity size and then enable quantity sizing and just change that to 100 and then disable it and now when you sh hit, hit shift it 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 uh, uh, it yeah <laughs> whatever it's snapping yeah. okay let's put this there copy and paste I'm gonna speed this bit up so yeah. Okay, so now I have all these cubes here. If you want, you can make it editable, but it's really not necessary. So hit, uh, click on all the cubes, click Alt G, and just name this simulation, like simulation C. Okay, and then let's make a random effect, here, like so. And now let's make uh, a spherish area that we want. Um, so let's go. Into the form. Make sure your random effect is dragged in there. Uh, I wonder if I had probably already said that. Anyway, uh, so now we want to make a sphere and go into the form, change it to object, and make a sphere in the fall off. Um, so now, as you can see, the random effect is affecting the blocks randomly. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, so, what we want to do is go to parameter, and you can see the position there. You want to off the x and z axes uh, positions, and yeah, uh, position it to the way you like. And you can of course animate this with keyframes, and or you can animate using the random effect like that, like that, or like that, whatever. Okay, now let's copy and paste this random effect. Make sure it's inside, and enable the rotation. So now we can. Just oh, and instead uh, go on the effector and change this to noise and set this animation speed to zero. So uh, if it's at hundred, the blocks are moving like so. So that's what. No, oh, sorry, that's turbulence. Put this at noise. So now when you put it at zero, it doesn't move. And let's just do some of that. And yeah, we got some cracking. <laughs> You, you can mess around with the settings, of course. Um, yeah, to your likings. Um, so that's that's it for this tutorial. Uh, you you should know how to keyframe and all that stuff. So thanks for watching and bye.